Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another video and today we're actually going to play once again with a rune that we don't really play with much nowadays which is Grasp of the Undying with inspiration in the secondary taking the free boots with the 5% CDR guys. We're going to be testing out to see how well Grasp does on Riven in the current patch that we are living in today. So with that being said we're up against uh, Quinn right now. We've got Dorn Shield as the first item because, you know, Quinn does like a lot of auto attacks. We need we need to have an item to have like good survivability in the laning phase because um, Quinn actually counters Riven like insanely hard. It's one of the biggest counters um, of this matchup so like, of Riven so far. I've actually took bone plating in the ruins. I should have taken second wind. But I'll update that in the description. All right, good. I'm gonna place a ward down here already because Rengar might actually do like an early game top side. I'll just do that right now. All right. So we're gonna have to go safe mode until we reach at least level two and three because that's when we can actually start trading her. It's pretty difficult to trade a Quinn if you're not level two and three yet because you need your stun and you need your dashes to be able to trade her. All right, let's see if she gets close enough. Oh, whoops. Missing some CS, which we shouldn't be missing. So if we actually had second win right now, like each auto attack that she would do, she would barely do like any damage. Kind of made the mistake here. Okay, we're now level three. Now we can actually start trading Quinn. We just have to wait for my Q and E to come back. She doesn't have a ward yet, so we can actually go for engage right now. Or she does actually have it. Mm, okay, that's the flash of Quinn at least. So now that we got the flash down of Quinn, we can actually look for uh, potential trades and all ins right now. Since we have like a flash advantage, we could bait her into using her E and then we can just like look for a potential all in. We'll see. We'll see. Of course, when we play with like Grasp of the Undying, we want to be able to proc it like multiple times. So we we're going to be trading a lot, like actually a lot. Let's see if she's going to come soon. Oh, missed like another CS. Okay. So we're going to be pushing it all the way. And then we will make our way back to base by the next couple of items. And then we will start fighting her. Because she currently has like item advantage too. Proc the grasp, walking back once again. Just doing the combo and that's it basically. I want to miss out the big one. Very good. Now we can actually make our way back. We can buy the first set of items, which will be um, two long swords. Hey, that's actually really good. Like we can kill her with a single combo right now. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I actually wanted to trade her right now. I wanted to do like a flash and then double cast and then all in her basically, but it would be kind of risky because if she would happen to walk away with like 10 HP, then we would get nothing. We will probably die like on her like tower, so we'll have to let her push right now. We have, we don't really know where Rengar is right now. I do see like three people bottom, but Rengar was not there. She's going to lose a lot of farm right now. Like the lane is being pushed towards us, so she has to walk up towards us if she wants to get the farm. This is a really good situation to be in at the moment. Because she will lose everything. <clears throat> she will lose the next upcoming wave too if she doesn't come here right now. That's gonna be huge. I can just sit here for a while. I could even use my teleport right now, teleport back to lane and like freeze it up here. But I'm gonna wait a little bit longer before doing this. I could like whenever she comes back I can do like one trade. Um get her low enough again and then TP back for like full health and new items, so I'll just keep it like this. 
she will she just lost like another wave right here like she's gonna fall behind insanely hard right now this is kind of what happens if you're if you're playing against opponents with ignite they don't really have the, the option to um teleport back to lane that's kind of the problem about people playing with um with ignite if it goes wrong then you're gonna be behind Proc it, do like an entire combo, then backing off again. We know that it's on Kona right now, so we can actually kill her right now. There we go. We still haven't bought any items yet. But we knew, we knew for sure that Quinn had no flash because she used the flash from the gank before. So with Quinn's flash being down, all we have to do is just bait bait out her E and then look for an all in. Yeah, now we can all in. Now we can not, I mean now we can push. I got like 2.2k gold right now and we still have my teleport so I can go anywhere right now. Nice. I'll get this uh two. I could teleport down there like any time right now, but I kind of need my teammates to be placing a good ward down before making our TP right there. I could TP right now. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm just gonna wait up for my flash right now oh okay all right so we tp'd unfortunately Rangor was there and my Yasuo also died right there like he actually engaged too early and somehow they actually managed like somehow he managed to die sooner than Xayah and, and Rakan they're actually insanely fed right now now, the bad thing is, this TP was actually a really good TP because um, there was a ward right here. They were pushing. We would we were about to get like free kills right here. Uh, but unfortunately, since my ADC just died and we only got one kill in return, it was not worth it. Unfortunately. Yeah, we got the guy. Thank you very much. Yeah, Jax gets the kill, but that's 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 fine to me, to be honest. That's absolutely fine for me. Great. So one thing that we could do right now is letting the Jax stay uh, between the two towers. So we can catch the Quinn again whenever she comes. It's a pretty effective method to get kills fast. Wait, Jax, we can fight this guy. Okay, I couldn't finish him off because that would pro I would probably kill myself on our tower and that's not very good. It's better to stay right now. And nice. Now we can take another piece of the plating and then we can make our way back to base. Good, now we can make our way back to base. Now we can get the next piece, which is going to be the pitch. I'm not gonna upgrade my boots yet. I'll do that later. Nice. As soon as I get my Black Lever and Death Stance this game, like, the game is going to be a lot easier for us because Death Stance will make us, like, really good for 1v1s. And eventually we will get, like, Ninja Tabis because they are full AD. And we will also get Guardian's Angel, which, like, all of these items counter the enemy team. So it's only a matter of just getting, like, pulling through the early game. I think we can carry, like, m my teammates after. Nice. 
I'll put the lane into slow push mode, so she's being forced to come over here, and then we will use that to roam down different lanes, possibly. We'll see. Yeah, she's not able to get close to the farm right now. That set is actually popping off right now. Alright, very good. Get the last farm. We can dive this Quinn on our tower, I think. We could try. Ranger's currently bot lane, so... At least I want to get the planning. Like, that's, that's, the mo that's the thing I care for the most right now. I think if we kill Quinn once, um, we could get the tower, but that's it. She's not worth that much right now. I just want to get the plating. Uh, let's get the control ward down, at least. I should have destroyed it sooner so my Jonah could actually come here. If my Jonah comes in right now, we could dive to Quinn on our tower. Oh, he's going for like the hero instead. That that's fine too. Just waiting for the moment, that's all. I still have enough time to get the plating. I also have my teleport coming up in about 40, which I can use to go bot lane again and reset the uh, whatever happened there. In case I haven't told you guys yet, uh, you can find the 4 runes full build, like the entire setup uh, for this, for the grass proven. You can all find it in the description guys. Nice. Okay, now we can dive. Very good. Rengar might come topside soon enough, but we're already going to make our way back to base right now. We can also TP bot lane right now. Okay, I'll get this too. Now we can TP down here, and we can try to 1v2 both of these. It's going to be really difficult though, because they are actually pretty fit. Yeah, like I expected. Maybe we can still get her. Okay, we still got her. Like, both of them are extremely fed right now. But we didn't really need... We didn't really need our ultimate because they didn't have their ultimates either. Nice. We could start off getting the tower right now. Just waiting up for the next wave, that's all. I'm not I don't really want the tower, I just want to get the next wave. Their uh balling is coming balling too right now. Oh, okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get something here. I don't think he's going I don't think they will pass, but we will see. There's a ward down there. Huh. They placed a ward down there, and I thought they knew, but they didn't knew, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we can dive this guy too. Thank you. Oh, there's... We also have company from this guy. Okay. I kind of, I kind of hope that Zed would come closer to me, so I could just do my combo and just kill that guy already. But like, he reacted soon to my turn, unfortunately. 
whatever. Okay, now we can actually afford a control ward. And we can also get the red trinket, which is going to help us, like, removing all the wards. I would, all, I would always recommend buying the red trinket, because it's going to help you, like, clear out all the wards. Nice, uh, so it would be great if we could get the pick there. Mm. Let's see if we can get something here. Oh, he's actually dodged it. He dodged everything. Wow, we actually got nothing here. He dodged my own. He just dashed through it. Okay, we're gonna go topside, farm out everything. And then we will probably... Uh, we'll see what happens after. It's kind of hard to predict whatever comes after. In, in, when the entire map is basically missing. Gotta be really careful with doing this because like everyone's missing at the moment. Okay, Ranger's bottom. The Zed is mid. So we could push this right now. Nice. We'll get this thing here. If nothing is happening around the map, you just want to be farming up camps. Which is gonna like put you ahead eventually. No red buff here unfortunately. There are no wards either, so maybe maybe if we get lucky she will pass. Oh she actually has got vision. Ah, she flashed. Okay. She no longer has flashed the next time. We actually have like an 80 CS lead over um, Quinn at the moment. And I think people are coming topside right now, actually. Yes. There are people coming over. They're actually chasing. Wow, they're chasing all the way to make this work. And they're still chasing. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I want to tip you in because we're going to fight right now. Flash double cast. We got the ADC. With the ADC being gone, there's. Hardly anything that they can do. I'm also pretty tanky right now because Grasp like procs the entire time. We also have um, we also have Death Stance, which gives armor, and we have Ninja Tabbies, which will be really good against our team because they're like full AD. Nice. Get the camp here as well if it's there. Rep off is here too right now. Okay, it's up there. Are we taking the wave? Or actually, I have something better here. We could be really lucky right now. Wow. Alright, still got her. Like... She she got pretty far. She, she react to my first auto attack. Most people don't react to it because they're like watching the rest of the map. They're not watching their champ. Nice. Like, so far, I like... I really like, like, Grasp of the Undying. I like it. It's not that bad. Oh, I tried to go back for it. 
it's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I'm going to sell this thing right here. I'm just going to wait for 20 gold just to get my BF sword. And then we can start um, going again. I need my BF sword pretty bad right now. Normally, I don't really sell the Doran shield. Like, ever. I always keep my slots uh, until, like, the late game. However, I just bought a longsword. We've got pretty much everything we need. We're super tanky right now. We don't really need Doran shield anymore. Since we're very strong right now. I mean, it seems like full AD, so... This guy's fighting there. Hmm. Yeah, he barely does any damage to us. Because we're full armor. We can just keep going. This is why I like to rush death stance into full AD comps. Because as you guys can see, they didn't do any damage on us. Because grasp procs everything. We're super tanky right now because of grasp. But we also have like ninja tabbies, death stands. We have uh, guardians angel coming up right now. And all those, all those things together, it's really strong. Against full AD comps. Very good. Got tower. Backing up a little bit. We could force the bottom tower right now as the next objective. If they try to come, we could fight them. Like I've mentioned before, we're being too tanky. There isn't anything that they can do. I couldn't make the jump, unfortunately. Whatever. Great. Grasp is really nice. I, I I like it so much right now, actually. It's so nice. Okay, go tower. Let's see if we can all in the Quinn. I think we could fight like another round here. Okay, maybe not, maybe not. I've done I've done like a lot of damage. I've I've done I, like I at least got set and Quinn below 30% uh, health instantly. But I think I had to flash out of their combo. Xayah was stacking up the, like the feathers on me. Seb was focusing me. Rangar was focusing me too. I think if I just jumped out there and reset and then go back in. I think we could have actually won that in like a 3 against 5 situation. I think we could have won this. Maybe if I had like 10 city in the ruins we could, we could have also done it. But whatever. We don't have 10 city here. We will be getting the final dragon. I don't think that they will go for the dragon here. Okay, we got the last. We got the final one. Really good. So all we need right now is four people to go top lane. And one guy goes bottom, so four top. Four top, one bottom. That's all. Just spam pinging with the team to actually go top side. 
This is the best call right now. This is all we need to do right now to win. I could fight him if he tries. Let's see. Yeah, we got three p we got three men tops it right now, so they can just force the tower. We're stalling like so much time here. Like they're chasing me down, which is really bad. My team has been taking the tower while all of them has been chasing me down. Which is worth. Let's see if we can get another catch here. He's insane. I'm not going to do that. He could have walked away. Their Baron buff will soon run out. That's when we can just finish. A little bit closer. Nice. Maybe we can get a catcher too. We're missing out on the teammates right now. That's all. Just missing out on teammates. They do no damage on me. I could even build like a Thormill. They could ne they could never find me again <laughs> if I built Thormill. <laughs> but I'm probably not gonna do that. Not this game. Because I don't want to miss out on the on the damage either. Oh, my support's being caught. All we need right now is my teammates to actually group up, and that's it. He's not going to jump. I don't think he will. <laughs> he actually jumped. Okay. Quinn's top side. We can we can just push mid and just finish. Awesome. There's only Quinn and their support right now. Yeah, this is enough. We can take the tower right now. Two creeps is enough. There's uh, there's respawning right now, but yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's done. Anyways, uh, this is pretty much grasp riven, guys. It's actually not even that bad to be honest. It's actually pretty good. I w I would recommend picking up grasp if you're having like really hard matchups. It really helps. It definitely helps. It's it's really not that bad. Of course, Conquer is still the best, but the Grasp is not that bad, guys. It's really not that bad. It's pretty good actually. Just pick up Grasp if you're in hard matchups. If you're in a comfortable matchup, just go Conquer. I would still recommend Conquer in most games. Anyways, four wins for build. You can all find it in the uh, description. Don't forget to follow my stream if you're looking for challenge elo gameplay. Don't forget to follow my Instagram if you got any kind of questions. And don't forget to join my Discord. Everything will be in the, descri uh, in the description, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys up next time. Peace.